We not caught up in that junk. We not caught up in the cadences. We not caught up in the messiness. We're focused on winning. My lube scenario should have gave you some insight on how it is that you can understand how the Fed is raising rates and how that's affecting you as far as fighting inflation and raising prices and the cost of you doing business, depending on what it is that you're trying to go into. That's the goal. That's the insight that we're looking for. We're not caught up in all of that other nonsense. You can keep your feelings to yourself. You know what I'm going to say. Here, I don't have to say it because I don't want to get fined. I don't want to get fined. Shout out to uh, Chernon. This is how we feel about that. This is how we feel about your feelings right here. That's how we feel about it. That's what you can take your feelings and do. Do that with them. All right? All right? I know I talked a lot about OGs. I've talked a little bit about marriage. I've talked about the government raising rates and then bending you over and lubing you up. I, listen, I know. <laughs> I know I talked about a lot of things. But the thing that y'all got to understand is that everything that we do here is intentional. Everything that we do here is intentional. We don't care about what other options everybody else has because that has no bearing whatsoever on what it is that we're going to do. We don't care. We don't care nothing about what everybody else is doing. We don't care about what the statistics say. We don't care about what other people's standards are as far as what it takes to get to the bag or what we would designate as a winner or a high value male or what we think women, you know, me and Rita joke about this all the time, but, but some people that we know, and it's so funny, they're so opposite. They're so opposite, honey. We know people um, from a couple's perspective, dude is super rich and she is what y'all will identify as an extreme version of for the streets. Mm -hmm. He is super rich and she is an extreme version for the streets. Mm -hmm. Somehow, some way, she landed this great man. Yeah, she did. I'll give you another example. We know a couple, and I'm not going to say no names or whatever like that, where the guy, he's very, very educated. He's super nice, incredibly good looking. And I have no problem giving men compliments because I am very secure in myself. But he's super good looking. He got all the muscles. And then the girl is built like a bag of bricks. <laughs> bad attitude can't stop throwing down them churros to save her life and she ain't i don't even know if she really got a great job but they are in love and they I'm married super duper married it is so weird so weird there are no real rules to life except for the results are the only thing that matters mm -hmm. The thing that other people see on the outside is not the thing that people are leaning into in order to make informed decisions. Just because people don't understand you don't mean that you don't know what you're doing. Don't second guess yourself. Don't question yourself. Don't be influenced by people that have no bearing or or will not have any kind of impact on what it is that you're going to do on a day to day basis outside of you really caring about what they think, because I'm going to just tell you nobody cares about what it is that you're doing at the end of the day. When they go home at night, they focused on them. They looking at their bank account. They crying. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get mad at them over there because they over there running the numbers up. They envious. They jealous. They want everything you got. They want your spouse they want your life. They want your house. If they could, they would take your kid. They want everything that you got. Be appreciative of what you have. Continue to be focused on what it is that you're doing and run the numbers up. Stop focusing on anything that has nothing to do with you. If it is not impacting you in a positive way, stay out of them streets. Ali G says 100% uh, disabled veteran gets student loans forgiven. You just turn in the paperwork and they're gone in less than 30 days. Thank you for that insight, Ali G. I appreciate you. Stacy Rubin says, Anton, great explanation and graphics. <laughs> if anyone didn't understand, watch it back. And, and especially the lube part. The only thing we care about is the results. 
Honestly, people are so caught up on how it is that they're receiving the information instead of focusing on whether or not they got the good information. I remember a, a few weeks ago, everybody was all in an uproar about what was happening between Sway and my um, my big homie, Kevin Samuels. And they were so caught up on what Kevin said or how he said it and how Sway was impacted by it that they lost complete sight of what was trying to be emphasized in those conversations in a general sense. And it's that if you want a certain level of result, you're going to have to dress for the job that you're looking for. You can do what you want to do. Nobody is forcing you to do anything, but it's easy to take the meat, spit out the bone, and then use that in order to be successful. The only thing we care about is the results. I don't care how you talk to me as long as you talk to me with some kind of sense as far as giving me something that's going to help me to be the better version of myself. Every single lesson that I learned, the overwhelming majority of them did not come in a nice way. Nobody packaged it in a nice apple. They didn't do this for me. They didn't put it in this. Sometimes they're going to hand it to you. Hand me that plastic bag over there. No, no. Sometimes they're going to throw it to you in this. They're going to be like, yo, fam, you want this package or not? I'm going to be looking at it like, yeah, I, um, I'll take that information. i use that thing in order to level up. It ain't got to come in that. It's not always going to come in a sleek, cute little box in order for you to be able to lean into. It's going to come in a plastic wrinkled bag and it's going to be the thing, the exact same thing that you need in order to level up and become successful. Stop worrying about cadences and packages and how people say. Now, I'm telling you that you need to package it more effectively because you want to be effective. But as far as what it is that we're taking in and the information that's going to help us level up, the only thing that we care about is the results. We not caught up in that junk. We not caught up in the cadences. We not caught up in the messiness. We're focused on winning. My lube scenario should have gave you some insight on how it is that you can understand how the Fed is raising rates and how that's affecting you as far as fighting inflation and raising prices and the cost of you doing business, depending on what it is that you're trying to go into. That's the goal. That's the insight that we're looking for. We're not caught up in all of that other nonsense. You can keep your feelings to yourself. You know what I'm going to say. Here, I don't have to say it because I don't want to get fined. I don't want to get fined. Shout out to uh, Chernon. This is how we feel about that. This is how we feel about your feelings right here. That's how we feel about it. That's what you can take your feelings and do. Do that with them. All right? All right? I love you. I appreciate you.